हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ मिस फातमा टीचर ऑफ क्लास टू फ्रॉम द स्मार्ट स्कूल सर सैद अहमद खान कैंपस एंड गुलिसान जौहर कैंपस स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डू एडिशन विद कैरिंग ऑफ थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स एंड वी विल आल्सो बी सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन दैट इज़ रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक फ्राम योर बुक पेज इज थर्टी एंड फोर्टी सो लेट्स बिगिन students when doing addition with carrying when you are adding three digit numbers with carrying you have to follow few steps so let's have a look at this example and learn the steps which we have to follow when adding three digit numbers with carrying so here the, in this example they are asking us to add 259 and 376 both of them are three digit numbers so they will be placed under the place value of units tens and hundreds so let's form a sum of it in 259 we have 2 hundreds so we will write 2 and hundreds column and we have 5 blocks of tens or we have 5 bars of tens so we will write 5 in the tens column and we have 9 units so we will write 9 in the units column moving on to the next number that is 376 in 376 there are 3 blocks of hundreds so we will write 3 in hundreds column and we have 7 7 bars of tens that means we have 7 tens so we will write down 7 in the tens column and we will write down and we have 6 units so we will write down 6 in the units place now students you all know that to start adding these numbers we will begin we will add the numbers that are present in units place first in units place we have 9 units and 6 units now when we add 9 units and 6 units the answer which we will get is 15 units but students can we write 15 units together uh, in the units place no we cannot because it's a two digit number so what will we do we will regroup 15 in a group of units and tens in 15 units there are 5 units and 1 10 so we will write down 5 units in the units place and and 1 10 1 will be carried uh, will be carried over in the tens column so now moving on to the next step in the next step we will add all the numbers that are present in the tens column so in tens column we have 1 10 5 tens and 7 tens when we add 5 when we add 1 10 5 tens and 7 tenths the answer which we will get is 13 tenths so students can we write down 13 tenths together in the tens place no we cannot write two digits at the same place value so what will we do we will regroup 13 tenths in a group of tens and hundreds whenever we are regrouping whenever we are getting the answer in two digits by adding the numbers of units we will regroup that number in units and tens and whenever we are getting the answer of two digits in tens place we will regroup that number in a in tens and hundreds so we will regroup 13 tens in a group of tens and hundreds so in 13 tens there are 3 tens and 100 so we will write down 3 in tens column and 100 will be carried over in the hundreds column Now look at step number three. In step number three, we will simply add all the digits that are present in hundreds column. In hundred column, we have one hundred, two hundred, and three hundred. So when we add one hundred, two hundred, and three hundred, that will be equal to six hundred. So students, this is how we are going to add. We are going to add three digit numbers with carrying. So the answer which we get by adding two hundred and fifty nine with three hundred and seventy six is The answer is six hundred and thirty-five. The answer is six hundred and thirty-five. So, students, now we are moving on to the next questions. Now we are going to solve question number one, which is given on book page number thirty-nine. So, students, in this question, we will be following the steps which we have discussed in the previous example. In question number one, so look at question number one. In question number one, there is we have to add three hundred and forty-eight and two hundred and sixty-four. In three hundred and forty-eight, we have three blocks of hundreds, so we have three hundreds. That means we will write three in the hundreds column, and 
we have four bars in the tens column that means we have four hundreds that means we have four tens so we will write down four in the tens column and we have eight units so we will write down eight in the units place moving on to 264 in 264 we have two blocks of hundreds so we will write down two in the hundred column and we have six bars of tens so we will write down six in the tens column and we have four blocks of units in the units column so we will write down four in the units place now students let's start adding the numbers in the units place in units place we have eight units and four units when we add eight units and four units the answer will be 12 units but students can we write down 12 units at the same place value can we write down 12 units together in units place no we cannot so what will we do we will regroup 12 units in a group of units and tens in 12 units we have two units and one ten so two units will be written in the units place and one ten will be carried over in the tens place now let's add the digits in tens place in tens place we have one ten four tens and six tens by adding all these digits, the answer which we get is 11 tenths. But again, can we write down two digits in tenths place? No, we cannot. So, what will we do? We will regroup 11 tenths in a group of 10 and 100. So, in 11 tenths, there are 110 and 100. So, 110 will be written in the tenths place and 100 will be carried over in the hundreds column. Now let's add all the digits that are present in the hundreds place. In hundreds place we have 100, 300 and 200. So let's add all of them together. The answer will be 600. So we will write down 6 in the answer of hundreds place. So the answer which we get after adding 348 with 264 will be 612. Moving on to question number 2 which is given on the same page of your book. Add 453 and 389. In 453 we have 4 blocks of hundreds. So that means we have 4 hundreds. So we will write down 4 in the hundreds place. And we have 5 bars of tens. That means we have 5 hundreds. That means we have 5 tens. So we will write down 5 in the tens place. And we have three small boxes in units place. That means we have three units. So we will write down three in the units place. In 389, we have three blocks of hundreds. So that means we have three hundreds. So we will write down three in the hundreds place. And we have eight bars in the tens place. That means we will write eight in the tens place. And we have nine blocks of units. So we will write nine in the units place. Now students let's start adding both of these numbers. We will start adding by we will start the addition by adding the numbers in units place. In units place we have 3 units and 9 units. When we add 3 units with 9 units we will get the answer 12 units. But can we write 12 units together in the units place? No, we cannot. We cannot write two digit numbers in the same place value. So what will we do? We will regroup 12 units in a group of units and tens. So in 12 units there are 2 units and 1 ten. So we will write down 2 units in the units place and 1 ten will be carried over in the tens place. Now what will we do? We will add all the digits in the tens place. When adding the digits of the tens place there are 1 ten, 5 tens and 8 tens. The answer which we get by adding 1 ten, 5 tenths and 8 tenths will be 14 tenths. So students, can we write 14 tenths in the tenths place together? No, we cannot. So we will regroup 14 tenths in a group of tenths and hundreds. In 14 tenths we have 4 ten and 1 hundred. So we will write down 4 in the tenths place. And 100 will be carried over in the 100 place. Now we are moving on to the 100s column. 
and now we will add all the digits in 100 column in 100 column we have 100 400 and 300 so by adding them by adding 100 400 and 300 we will get the answer 800 so students the answer which we get by adding 453 with 389 is 842 students when you are solving these sums in your book you don't have to mention all this description which I have written here but you have to uh, show the sign of carrying okay you must show the number that is carried over you have to write down the you have to solve this sum in your book and you must show the sign of carry you ha you must show the number that is carried over okay question number three which is given on book page number 40 Add 348 and 354. So students when we are adding 348 with 354. In 348 we have 3 blocks of hundreds. So we will write down 3 in the hundreds place. And we have 4 bars of tens. That means we have 4 tens. So we will write down 4 in the tens place. And we have 8 units. We have 8 small boxes of units. So we will write down 8 in the units place. Then in 354 we have 3 blocks of hundreds. So we will write down 3 in the hundreds place. And we have 5 bars in the tens place. So we will write down 5 in the tens place. And we have 4 units. We have 4 small boxes of units. So we will write down 4 in the units place. Now let's start adding them one by one starting from the units place. When we add 8 units with 4 units the answer which we get is 12 units. So students can we write down 12 units at the units place together? No we cannot. So what will we do? We will regroup 12 units in a group of units and tens. So in 12 units we have 2 units and 1 ten. So 2 units will be written in units place and 1 10 will be carried over in the tens place. Now let's add the digits in tens place. In tens place we have 1 10, 4 tens and 5 tens. When we add all of them together the answer which we get is tens. The answer which we get is 10. 1 plus 4 plus 5 will be equals to 10. So we have 10 tens. We have 10 times 10. So, can we write 10 together in the tens place? No, we cannot. Again, we will regroup tens in the, uh, in the group of 10 and 100. So, in 10 tens, there will be 0, 10 and 100. So, we will write down 0 in the tens place and 100 will be carried over in the hundreds place. Now, students, we will add all the digits in the hundreds place. In hundreds place, we have... 100, 300 and 300. Let's add all of them together. The answer which we get is 700. So students by adding 348 with 354, the answer which we get is 702. You must also mention this 702 in the small box that is given here where it is written 348 plus 354. Students do, uh, do uh, remember to show the sign of carrying, okay? Question number 4. Add 429 and 496. So students, uh, in 429, we have 4 blocks in the hundreds column. That means we have 4 hundreds. So we will write down 4 in the hundreds place. And we have 2 bars in the tens column. That means we have 2 tens. So we will write down 2 in the tens place. And we have 9 units in the units column. So we will write down 9 in the units place. Then we have 496. In 496 we have 4 in the hundreds column. We have 4 blocks of hundreds. So we will write down 4 in the hundreds place. And we have 9 bars of 10. So we will write down 9 in the 10th place. And we have 6 small bars, 6 small units 
six small boxes of units in the units place so we will write down six in the units place now we will we will add all of these numbers starting from the units place let's add the numbers that are present in the units place in units place we have nine units and six units when we add nine units with six units the answer which we get is 15 units students can we write down 15 units together in the units place no we can't so what will we do we will regroup 15 units in a group of units and 10 in 15 units we have 5 units and 110 so 5 will be written in the units place and 110 will be carried over in the tens place now step number 2 let's add all the digits in the tens place in tens place we have 110 that is carried over 2 tens and 9 tens when we add 110 2 tens and 9 tens the answer which we get is 12 tens so students can we write 12 tens in the tens place no we can't what will we do we will regroup 12 tens in a group of tens and 100 in 12 tens we have 2 tens and 100 so we will write 2 tens in the tens column and 100 will be carried over in the hundreds column. Now students we will add all the digits that are present in the hundreds place. In hundreds place we have 100, 400 and 400. When we add all of them together the answer which we get is 900. So students by adding 429 with 496 the answer which we get is 900 and 25 925 so students you have to solve these four sums which are given on your book page number 39 and 40 i want all of you to solve these four uh, sums by watching this video and understanding how to solve it and or uh, you must also show the number that is carried over Okay, students, to so complete this work at your home, complete from question number one till question number four in your math book and do practice of it. Thank you.